So, um, we're going to do the uh, barambola from the bottom this time, right? So it's very similar to the top one, right? It's pretty much almost exactly the same, but you're just going to have to change a couple of groups along the way, right? So, um, go, just lay down for a second. So remember when we're here from the top, right? We want to be really high up on his legs, on his leg, and both my knees are pinching, okay? So both my knees are tight. And then when I get tight like this, right, my knees are getting closer to my chest, right? Okay, guys? So I want you to think about these um, couple of details when you're doing this, is that my knees are close together, okay? They're not far apart. So you wanna pinch your knees close, okay? You wanna pinch your knees together. I want to be high, right, up on his thigh, not low, okay? So I want to be high above his knee, okay? If I'm below his knee, it's not gonna work. I'm right on his knee, it's gonna be hard, right? The higher you are, the more leverage you are, you're gonna get uh, to be able to lift him, okay? So essentially what we're doing when we're doing this pinch here, right, is that when we roll over, we're gonna kick slightly and that's gonna lift his hip off the ground. Here, right, so this roll lifts his hips off the ground. That's all we're trying to do, okay? And if you think about it, okay, if I wanted to lift Jake's hip off the ground, this part here, would I grab further down here or would I grab further up here, okay? Would I try to lift him at his foot or would it be easier to just lift him by his hips down here, right? It would be much easier to lift him by his hips, right? Does that make sense, guys? Mm -hmm. That's why we get nice and high up on this leg, okay? Now, we're gonna start in double pull, okay? I'm going to grab the bottom of Jake's ankle and I'm just gonna sit on his foot, okay, with my butt cheek. Right, this anchors his foot in place and then I'm gonna put in my De La Hiva hook and then I'm gonna internally rotate my knee, right? This is forces Jake to internally rotate as well and exposes his hip here. Once his hip's off the ground, it's gonna be much easier for me to elevate his hips than if he was completely flat here, okay? This is why I anchor his ankle, put in my hook, internally rotate, and then get his hips off the ground first, okay? Now, see this position? See how I'm below his knee, okay? Remember I said, in order for me to lift up his hips here, I wanna be as close to his hips as possible, right? So what I need to do in um, the process of doing a brown bolo is Eventually, I'm going to slide both my knees up along this leg to get as close to his hip as possible, okay? So the difference between where I am now and here, all right, is that right now I'm on top, but mainly that I'm much closer to his hips here, right? That's why it's so much easier to just do the top four roll, okay? So the trick when you're doing it from the bottom, right? Is to close the distance, kick your knees together, slide up this leg, okay? So, sitting on the foot, the la hip hook in, internally rotate his knee. My other foot, okay? I'm just gonna keep on his stomach for now. And then I'm gonna reach and grab his drawstring. Okay, guys. Now remember I said that bottom barrel ball is very similar to the top, just a few grip changes, differences. So, uh, the two differences, right? One is I'm grabbing the Dela uh, De La Hiva leg, so that's the close leg instead of the far leg, right? So when I'm on top, I grab this leg, right? So that's the far leg. Right now, I'm grabbing the close leg, okay? And then the other grip, because I can't reach the back of his drawstring here, I can only grab uh, by his side here, okay guys? So when I'm in De La Hiva, Right? I can't reach and just grab the middle of his, the back of his pants, so I can only grab the side here. And I'm grabbing the close leg instead of the far leg, okay? So we're gonna have to do a couple of uh, grip changes once we do our roll. So I just can't lift it close up. All right, guys. Now, this is where people struggle, okay? In the process of um, getting closer to his hips and rolling over, Right, this is where people lose the brown and then get confused and then get stuck. Okay, so 
The key here, remember, is to keep my knees together as I close the distance. Now you have a few options here, okay? You can do the Grammy roll, so I'm going to drop to my shoulder, okay? Then I'm gonna go from shoulder to shoulder. I need to switch shoulders. And instead of looking at Jake, I need to look away from him, right? So I need to roll so that I can look the other way. So I'm going to drop to my shoulder and I'm gonna pull my head into this space here. Okay, with my arms here, like this. See how I'm on the other shoulder now and I'm looking away from Jake. Okay, from here, I can stack and then here we can switch to the other. So remember, I was grabbing the De La Hiva leg. This is when I can switch to the other leg and I can slide my grip along his drawstring and grab the middle of his pants again if you want. Or you can keep it by the side of his arm. Um, uh, by his waist still, doesn't uh, really matter, you can use both grips. But you want to go for this far leg, right? And here, if I can't put in my back hook, right? Again, I can use my leg behind his thigh and then use that to kick him down and then pull him up. Hi right, guys. So, that's the first option. You can Granby roll. Second option, okay? Uh, a lot of people find it hard to grab your roll, so I'm just gonna do a log roll, all right? So what's gonna look like is, since I'm gonna be on my knees, I'm gonna place my forehead on the floor, right? And then just look the other way and roll over, okay guys? Very easy, okay? Put your forehead on the floor, look the other way, and just roll over like that. Okay, so I've got a setup. Now I pull closer, get my knees up, put my forehead on the floor, right? Then I'm gonna look the other way. And now, same situation, I can go for the far leg, put it behind here, kick down, grab his shoulder, pull him onto the back. Okay, so again, guys. All I'm doing is I'm switching from shoulder to shoulder and now I need to look away from Jake. Okay, so how you do that is up to you. But essentially you're just changing from shoulder to shoulder. Okay. So the third option is to directly go over the other shoulder. Right, so just do a four roll. Okay, so this one, I'm just gonna look away. I'm gonna look away and then I'm gonna try to roll over this shoulder here. Okay. So this one requires a bit more momentum. I'm gonna come up, roll, four roll. Here, grab the far leg, kick down, grab the shoulder, pull him onto the back. All right guys, so you have those three options. All right. Um, best thing to do is just to have a play around, see which one works for you, and then we'll troubleshoot from there. All right guys? Uh, any questions you want to see that again or you guys want to have a go now? Alright, let's grab our partners. Three, two, one.